The push to protect victims of fertility fraud makes its way to Capitol Hill. And ABC News Live anchor Kira Phillips has that update. Now to an update on our 2020 investigation we first brought to you three years ago. When Eve Wiley was growing up in Nacogdoches, Texas, she knew she was a miracle baby because at the age of 16, her mother finally told her that when she wasn't able to get pregnant naturally, she sought out the help of their town's well-known and well-respected fertility doctor, Kim McMorris. And after a number of attempts, Eve's mom finally was able to conceive through artificial insemination with donor sperm. Now, although Eve loved her parents very much, she was curious. And when she turned 18, she decided she wanted to meet her biological father, otherwise known as sperm donor 106. So this tenacious teen did her homework and tracked down donor 106, and it couldn't have gone any better. Steve Scholl was thrilled to meet Eve. Matter of fact, their bond was instant, and Steve even officiated Eve's wedding. But like every fairy tale story, there always seems to be a twist. And for Eve, it was a DNA test and a click from a biological first cousin online. She was like, I have family in Texas, um, the McMorrises and the McMorries. And I was like, oh, my, my mom's gynecologist was um, a McMorries. And we just kind of laughed. We're like, oh, small world, ha, ha, ha. And then Eve matches with another biological first cousin on 23andMe and starts asking him about his family. And he said, I have one uncle. He lives in Nacogdoches, Texas, and his name is Ken McMorris. And I asked him again, who? <laughs> who, who are you talking about? And I said, oh, that is my mom's fertility doctor. I think at, at that point, it was, I was, I was just in shock. I was in shock. And since that shocking moment, Eve has dedicated her life to advocating for laws to protect victims of fertility fraud. And that's why she came to our nation's capital to join members of Congress as the Protecting Families from Fertility Fraud Bill was introduced. Eve, along with Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, who helped to introduce this bill, joined me now. So first of all, Eve, it is so great to see you again. You have been very busy since we first broke your story on 2020, meeting other victims, like yourself, passing legislation state by state. Tell us about your progress. Yes, well, it started with you. I feel like you know, three years ago, I didn't really have this organized um, effort or even idea of what I wanted to do, but it started in Texas. And then when I came forward, when that 2020 episode aired, I just got this outpouring of support and these Me Too stories. And from that, we were just working state by state. And in 2019, there was one state with fertility fraud legislation. And as of two weeks ago, we now have 11. And then this week is extra special because now we have have a official fertility fraud bill on a federal level. No, it's incredible. And that's where you come in, Congressman or Congresswoman Cheryl. You introduced this federal bill along with other members. Tell us what it's going to do and what motivated you to join this cause. Well, this is a really important bill because um, anyone who hears Eve's story recognizes that a crime has been committed, but there really wasn't a cause of action. There really isn't a cause of action for so many people um, as they find out they have been victims. And often you don't find that out until you do a 23andMe or a genetic test, Ancestry.com. Suddenly you come to this conclusion and there's not always recourse. And Eve's done incredible work. And now we hear that, you know, 11 states have some recourse, but that is not nearly enough. So we really do need federal legislation. So when my friend Representative Stephanie Bice came to me and said, you know, this is really concerning to me, we've got to protect these families. I was you know, immediately on board. Um, so we've introduced this legislation. It will make this a crime, a sexual abuse crime, which it is, and we'll add a predicate to our RICO statute so it can be prosecuted and then add civil penalties as well. Um, so this is a really important piece of federal legislation, a bipartisan piece of legislation to protect families across our country. 
Pretty incredible. And Eve, what has it been like to meet all these other victims of fertility fraud? You know, how have their stories touched you just knowing you're not alone? Right. Well, that's what made this week even more emotional because we have been working together as, you know, each new state, each new victim that's come forward, we've been collecting the stories and using those stories for a greater good. But with COVID and having to Zoom, we've never met each other before. And so this week we were all meeting for the first time. So it was you know, they are my chosen family. They are the silver lining in all of this. They are the people that that really understand um, what I've had to go through, what my mother has gone through, what Steve has gone through. So it's been really special to, um, to bring all of this uh, full circle. And it was a very emotional week for everyone. I can just imagine it. And Eve, I have to ask you, how is Steve? <laughs> He's doing good. Dad's great. Um, you know, this was this was hard for us. And you know, Steve, I mean, he's just he's so awesome. But he's doing good. He's a Thanks sweetheart. for us. He is a sweetheart. He's the best. <laughs> Well, and you couldn't ask for a better uh, donor slash uh, special father to have in your life. I mean, you really brought him in. He brought you in. And it, it really was the sweetest part of, of the story. I mean, you are so blessed with family, Eve. I really appreciate what you're doing. So glad you could join me. And Congresswoman Cheryl, thank you so much for what you're doing. It means a lot, um, not only to women who go through fertility, but just to uh, make it a really positive experience. Thank you both so much. Thank you, Kira. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.